Olivia Corey from My Commonwealth, a national organization that represents Canadian youth under 30 in the Commonwealth. Today we're with Jared Kahn, a Canadian hopeful for the Commonwealth Games later this summer. Jared has represented Canada in a number of events as a sprinter, and we thank him for being here today. Yeah, it's good to be here. Thank you. So we're going to start with just some general Commonwealth questions. And uh, so the first one's, what is your connection to the Commonwealth? Well, firstly, I live in a Commonwealth country. I think that's the first connection. Um, Commonwealth Games in track and field world is, is, is the, the games that fall in between the major championships. So um, a lot of the American guys or the um, most of Europe don't get the opportunity to compete in the major games in uh, 2010, 14, things like that. So we have a real opportunity to compete at a high caliber competition. Um, in between major championships, so it's a good stepping stone on the Worlds and then ultimately the Olympics in a couple of years. So. Okay. so aside from the Commonwealth Games, have you ever heard of the Commonwealth before and what do you know about it and you know, do you think it's a valuable organization? What are your thoughts about that? Yeah, it's, it's definitely an opportunity to have like solidarity uh, between multiple nations, multiple continents throughout the world and, and any opportunity you get to, to certainly from, from my perspective, to have like a global representation of, of countries that have the opportunity to compete in multi-sports is, is a great opportunity. It's actually, from what I understand, as big um, as far as participation is concerned as, as the Winter Olympics. Um, and there's, the representation is really global, which I think is important uh, in the grand scheme of things athletically. So, as we said, you know, my Commonwealth uh, represents young people in Canada, under 30. And, uh, you know, as young people around the world, we face a lot of challenges. So, do you, as an athlete, professional athlete, have any advice uh, for them as young Canadians? Yeah, I would just be patient. And, that, and that's the most difficult thing as a young person. We're, we're constantly, especially now, it's like the age of convenience. We want everything right now. Um, uh, you know, somebody that has a goal and an aspiration really needs to establish a plan and a plan of action. Um, a lot of people have dreams, but without the plan, often those times just uh, just don't come to fruition. So, I would say establish a goal and then really forge a plan in order to, um, to in order to attack that uh, achievement or goal or aspiration, mm -hmm. whatever it is. And that's and that's as much, believe me, it's, it's as much to do with the destination as the journey as far as importance when, you know, when it's all said and done. So. If you can describe your first big competition, uh, you know, what were your nerves like? Were you scared? Were you excited? Who was supporting you there? Do you remember your first? Well, I think big competition is relative and you have to take it for, um, as far as a development perspective. My first track and field competition was in 1999. Um, as a part of the youth, uh, what we call the Legion Championships. So really that was the, uh, the first opportunity I had to leave Prince Edward Island and compete on an actual track. Uh, ironic to think that I was a track athlete without a track. So from, you know, I rewind the tape to 1999 and fast forward to 2014, it's, you know, I've come so far. But those are moments that I, I, I still hold as, as humbling um, reminders that you can't you know, forget where you came from. Um, who can you say, could be an athlete or not an athlete, has been a role model or someone that you looked up to in your career or just in general? Um, role models, it's, it, it changes athletically because mm -hmm. you know when you first get into the sport, it's, it's guys like Donovan Bailey, Bruni Surin, Canadian Connection. And then as you become a student of the sport, you start to identify with certain athletes based on their style, based on their stature, their, their build. So there's athletes like Maurice Screen that when I was um, you know, developing collegiately, uh, he, was the, he was the real uh, benchmark athlete. So, uh, but outside of the sport, like um, I know this sounds funny, but uh, the Dalai Lama has always been one of my, somebody I've really looked up to. Chris Hadfield, right, the Canadian astronaut. Um, whose book is, has just been released, which is, is really um, a, a great perspective and it, it really um, bridges the gap between something so outrageous like, uh, like aeronautical engineering, uh, being an astronaut with, with, uh, with sports, 
that those are the type of people I really look up to because it's perspective building. Mm -hmm. Well, that's about it. Uh, Jared, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And uh, we wish you the best of luck yeah. for future competitions and hopefully the summer in Glasgow. Yeah, absolutely.